In my previous video, I've shown how SciEach iterates over each element. And you cannot stop the iteration by returning true or false from a command that already has been queued up, because all the commands have been queued up for every element of the collection. Now, here's how to solve it. First of all, instead of returning true or false, we'll use an external variable, something like should stop. And initially it's false, and here we'll say if n is 7, then should stop is true. Okay, now this doesn't change much, right? We still iterating over all elements, right? But here's the next change we'll do. We'll move the entire chain that we don't want to be queued up inside psi then, right here. Now, right now, it doesn't change much, but each will schedule psi then for every element still. And when then runs, it will add all those things. But now notice that the button message appears at each iteration, right? It doesn't appear all at once in the beginning. And here's the last change that we have to do. If should stop is true, then don't queue anything up, right? So now we queued up side then one by one, right? And then inside, once we reach seven, we say should stop, so all the side then already queued up that are scheduled to go are skipped. They don't queue up any more actual commands inside the side then callback. So we only iterate a limited number of times. Let's try it again. Not seven, so okay, as soon as it hits seven, it stops and all side ends already queued up, so next execute. And we can see this in action. So I'm going to install one more plugin that I have written, npm install cypress command chain. And I'll take this plugin and I'll import it in my spec. Okay. Now notice a new element right on the top has appeared. Let me close this. This just shows a queue of commands. And initially it queues up visit, get, each, and then for each element it queues up callbacks. So this is the first callback and then more callbacks, right? And for each callback, if it executes, it actually inserts these commands in the right place. And then all callbacks for other elements are there, right? Let's try it again, right? Notice all the callbacks are there. It just keeps inserting additional commands if should stop is not there. And when we hit seven, right? If we hit it on this test run, Okay, then it still executes then callbacks, but it doesn't add anything inside of them because we exit early. So this is how you can use sci each and still stop iteration. In my next video, I'll show another plugin I've written that can replace sci each with a better version.